Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing a review, it's called uh, Sky Roam Soulless Light Router. It's a portable router. Um, supposed to be able to use it in 130 countries. There's ones with USBs and there's ones with plain, plain ones like this that you buy a service for, which I did. So I purchased this. Um, it was, um, oh, like, uh, I do believe like 119 or something and a month of service, um, unlimited data, $49 and some change, you know, and so, um, I got up in the Belt Mountains of Montana. Well, first I tried it. I went across three states from um, half of Minnesota all the way through North Dakota into Montana. And I'm up in the mountains. And this is during a snowstorm I left. So, And I've got front wheel drive on my car, so it wasn't a big deal. So I just thought, well, I'll take my time. I'll just take off anyway, which I did. And... Uh, Got a few hours sleep in North Dakota in a place called New Salem, of all places. <laughs> and this did not work in North Dakota. One stayed away from me. It worked while I was at home. I set it up. Now, the setting up of the whole thing was unbearably horrible. And um, the guy on the chat to hook this up, kept asking me to read all my little numbers, you know, and whatnot off the back. These ones and these ones and these ones, which I did like, um, took me three, four times, maybe more to get that going. And he kept asking me the same thing, to put the same thing in there. I said, it's got to be on your records. I've been through this four times already. It was horrible. So then I tried again when I got up on top of the Continental Divide. You know, when you're above, like when you're about 10,000 feet in the air, you would think, well, Sky Roam would work. So I got in a wayside rest up there. It was really beautiful. And I thought, well, I'm going to take some photos and then I'm going to upload them because I had my laptop with me and two cell phones just for pictures at the time. So didn't work and I couldn't believe it so what was really horrible about the whole thing is I thought I would have internet service to talk to Doug and my family when I was on my trip it was just my dog and I and it it didn't it didn't work for me so um, there was absolutely no signal then I'm coming home, too, and that's another story I left early. I might be talking about it later. Um, somewhat of a nightmare. Kind of much of a, kind of a trip. <laughs> a real trip. But anyway, and um, I got lost at night up by Canada, below Regina, Canada. And by that time, I had purchased a cell phone, um, a nice Samsung Galaxy it with cricket wireless on it and once again way up below canada in the middle of the night i have no cell phone service so i get i just really am, am and was in a part of our country um below right below canada in montana going into north dakota absolutely no cell phone phone service. I was on uh, what they call the White Earth Indian Reservation. And uh, I knew if anything happened to me there, the people would probably be pretty nice because um, years and years ago, I was um, uh, named at one of their powwows so they could like look me up in their records and whatnot. I'm like, like way too white to hang with the people. But I'm sure they wouldn't have hung me if you got me if I had had stalled out in the middle of the night or something, you know. I probably would have been pretty safe, but there was no one. I drove for like 300 miles and there was no one and I couldn't call no one. And that part was pretty bad. So my review, 
And my recommendation on this Sky Roam Soulless Light Portable Router Junk. Now, if you're within a city, it's going to work for you. Like, it, well, I live eight miles from my town and about six mi miles from a tower. And then I have my own solar dish. So um, it might even been see because it picks up signals from um, other uh, towers around. And it works with like on AT&T and all your major networks and, and phone communication things. But. It did not work for me below Canada, from Minnesota, into North Dakota, and into Montana, and almost into Regina. I was 20 miles away from Regina, Canada. And it, it, it absolutely did not work. It was supposed to be unlimited data. So I, I didn't take the pictures of the mountains and the antelope and the deer and the different things that I saw because um, my my life was uh, at that point. Um, it well, I won't say I, that I was afraid because I wasn't afraid. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, I've got AAA for towing my car, and I mean, you know, and they'll tow you like two hundred miles, and. Uh, that type of thing. So I wasn't really concerned about that type of thing. I was more concerned getting stuck with my dog. And so I thought I'd do a review on this Sky Roam. Like I say, if you, it, it might be backwards to you. I don't think so, though. But um, like I say, if it's um, in town, you'll probably be doing okay if you're trying to go into one of them 130 countries that they mention it works in. I'd say maybe look into something that, that has reviews that say most definitely if you go up in um, the great Northwest or Midwest anywhere in the United States, this type of one might work, but this type of one did not work. <laughs> and I was thinking if I got the USB one and it was a little cheaper to go that route, but the data plan was less. And so now um, I don't know if I can get my money back or if I can send it back or if they'll reimburse me or what they're going to do. The people on the chat, when I was trying to get it hooked up, it, like I said, that in itself was a horrible nightmare. And I finally... When I was up on the mountain, I could chat to them, which was odd because I had put my account in their home page in there. And I told them, well, why don't you call my husband then and tell him that I can't call him or communicate with him because of your service. I said, how about that? Because he wanted me to keep putting these numbers in. And I had only had two and a half hours of sleep. And it's like, dude, I am in a snowstorm on top of a mountain. And I want to get out of here before the snow comes closer and I'm in a whiteout. I said, I got to get going. And that's when I said, why don't you call Doug and let him know or get a hold of him because your service doesn't work. And I'm going to do a review on it when I get home. So I've been home over a week, but um, with the devastating things I ha that happened to me, I think I am going to speak out about it. For the mere fact that I have uh, people that depend on me, that love me, that probably want to know the truth about some things, and I'm going to document it for later. I'm going to try with all my heart um, not to disrespect anybody, even though I was. I'm going to try and... Um, with love in my heart and guidance from God, try to speak about what happened to me for my other family members and curious friends, <laughs> you know, but um, anyway, I miss you all and I love you. And um, the ones that do videos and you're on my Facebook and everything, I, I can't thank you enough for the joy that you bring into my life. And there's some of you that have been there for a very long time and you're amazing people. And um, I just want you to know that
this is that's in the city probably and i could see if you're away from your home router and whatever and you want to work but this did not work for me and um my dreams of showing you some of the parts of the country where i'm serious i worked on a ranch in a place called brockway montana it's by another town called circle montana and i went through my old stomping ground where and i and i'm thinking to myself i cannot believe i lived here i lived there back when i was 17 years old and um the ranch I worked on, they had CBs for communication and stuff because we didn't have cell phones back in the day. And my handle was Minnesota Blue Gal. But, um, but it was kind of fun being back in my old stomping grounds. But I was thinking to myself, how come I didn't notice that there's absolutely nothing out here for miles and miles and miles? I mean, you can look a thousand miles in any direction and absolutely not see another living soul so it's it's pretty amazing and i wanted to show you all that but it didn't work but okay well anyway i'm going to think and contemplate on what and if i'm going to say anything and um i i mean i don't want to come off as um disrespecting anybody like i said even even these people you know it, it might work just great for people around town, like I say, but going out in the United States of America, in God knows wherever, if they say 30 countries, well, we're an awful big country and it didn't do what it said it was going to do. And it was a total waste of my money. So, okay, I love you all. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to. See you later. I think. <laughs>